search mobile gaming, find out all of that stuff on today's Tech 7. Hey Tech 7, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech 1 channel. You know, as we become more mobile in society, we want more of our entertainment to come with us. And that's why mobile gaming has really taken off. Whether it's on the iPhone, Android, or other mobile devices, people love playing their games. You might have a few minutes in a supermarket or just waiting in your car for somebody or just time to kill anywhere. And it'd be great to just pull out your phone and play a fun game. Now, some of the best games in the mobile environment are the most addictive ever. And that's where the game Angry Birds comes in. Angry Birds started on the iOS platform and just exploded as being this addictive game that people just love. In short, some pigs stole eggs from these birds and the birds are going after them by slingshotting themselves into the pigs' fortresses and on the surface, you think, oh my god, this is stupid, but once you play it, you are hooked. Now, this has done fantastic on the iOS network, so they decided we're going to bring it to Android. So on October 16th, Angry Birds debuted on Android to an unprecedented success. In its first day, Angry Birds achieved 1 million downloads. Now, as of the 18th of October, which was yesterday, it achieved 2 million downloads. Now, the company Rovio acknowledged that the Android market is kind of a unique market. People on the open source platform tend to think that everything should be free and I personally don't agree with that But again, that's just the idea of Android So they came up with a way to make this game free yet profitable for themselves So if you're on an iOS device, you already know that the game is 99 cents in the market However, the same game with the same levels is free on Android Now the only catch is at the beginning of each level There's a small ad on the bottom right hand side and to be honest It really is not in the way of gameplay at all. It's not an overlay screen or anything like that It's pretty unobtrusive. So yeah yeah, if they had charged 99 cents, they would have had over $2 million by now. But I think with the amount of ad impressions and possible ad clicks that they're going to get, that they're going to make a lot more than $2 million. Pretty ingenious, guys. So if you're on an Android device, I really advise to download this game, try it out. It's free. You have nothing to lose. And if you're on iOS, yeah, you have to pay the dollar. But, you know, it's a great game. It's very addictive. And I think you'll like it. I mean, come on. Pigs versus birds. You, you can't beat that. But I brought Angry Birds up because I wanted to ask you all, what do you think of mobile gaming in general? I personally don't travel daily on public transportation or I'm not standing somewhere long enough to remember, oh, I have games on my phone. Let me play with them. But I recognize that many people do. And it's a good way to pass the time. So whether you want to play chess or Sudoku or Angry Birds or any other type of fun quick game to play, the mobile platform is booming for these type of apps. So the question is, are you a mobile gamer or do you not see the trend of this and don't think it's important? Let me know. So hey guys, thanks for watching and I do have an announcement for you. Next Tuesday will be my last Tech 7 appearance and I just wanna say that I've really enjoyed the experience of being here, getting to know Dave, getting to know Paul, who was the owner of the place, and definitely getting to know the people who really supported the change from John to Dave and myself and the transition. I know it was very tough for many of you. And I just want to thank you all who did support. My main goal was to really come in and just stabilize the channel. I think it's a great channel with great potential. And I think to a certain extent, we've done that. But my current schedule with my channel, Locker Gnome, and my work, which has really been bogging me down this year, has really kept me from really dedicating myself to all of the type of projects that I'm involved with. So I've had to cut back on a few. Paul, the owner, was very gracious and understood my scheduling. So... You know, although some people will be up, you know, upset about this, I do apologize for that, but I'm glad that I was able to share myself with you. And I don't mean in that way. <laughs> so Tech 7, I look forward to my final show next week. Be sure to watch Dave this Friday. Stay tuned for any announcements to find out if there will be a replacement, how it's all going to work out. You just have to stay tuned because I don't know right now. So take care. And until next time, this has been a Tech 7 production.